held in wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. No sign of a wedding ring. If anything else, let's just talk. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Just tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. Okay. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Husband's alibi. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. It's mm, a little I doubt that. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. Touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Your mom and Dad are happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch for him to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. Butterfly. We've been very brave. Hey! What is? Daddy, the police Ready are room here. Room, Michelle. I'll talk to you. Daddy, Polly is gone. Wait a Here's second. Me. Is this the, is this Matt from from Heroes? She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her and like she's Hey, that's, that's the guy from Heroes that plays the fat policeman. Found? Who has mental control. In Heroes. But she only... That's him. Questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah, that's him. It's, it even looks like him. <laughs> what size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Liar. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. What the fuck? So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Getting to prove it wrong. Rope. Missing watch and ring. I can't really prove it, but I'm missing the doubt because I... Got any way of confirming this story of yours? <laughs> you come here making all these accusations. Okay. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. 
Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around 9:30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know the DJ didn't turn up. Was All your right. wife unreliable? No. Shit. <laughs> your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true, god damn it. Let's prove it. Butterfly bullet roach, husband's alibi. Okay, I can't prove it, so I'm doing doubt. I think you set this up. Fuck. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. What an asshole. Getting hostile with us is a very One to four, idea. fuck. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Felt. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Mother, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind. Don't make me come looking for you. Fuck. I fucked that one up royally. Should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! What? Yes, ma'am. What's she want? terrible news over the radio. You can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bump downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, God. What an asshole. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Yeah. Yeah, get that ball. Running over a playground. See them. What an idiot. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central Officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, Detective. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I don't know this moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? I call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Poor girl, man. get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Well, there's a payphone down here. Galloway, Homicide Division, Basin, 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Did we get Ray Pinker and a Technical Service? Felt's best, 1247. North Bonnie Bray Street. How can Send I help, Detective? Juvenile Hall to look after a young I need an address on a Belmont High School. Roger, 11. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Okay. Thanks. Cool, we're going to Belmont High then, I guess. How's this guy doing? 
how much this guy doing, eh? Going there first. You got it, KGBL. Central work. Okay, no. Yeah, no, no. No street crimes.